Welcome friends, after getting some concept of geometric sequence, now let's do here is a problem. Uh, if the sum of the three numbers in geometric sequence is 38 and their product is 1728, find them. Right? It simply means that there are three numbers which are in geometric sequence and their sum, sum of those all three numbers is 38. And if you multiply those all numbers to each other, it means simply if you do the product of those number, you are going to get 1728. Then what are those three numbers? Similar type of problem we used to do in arithmetic sequence. Now the same type of question we are doing here in geometric sequence. So once again, I'm telling you, we have to choose the three numbers very wisely because to solve any problem you know we need the first term and the common ratio in geometric sequence and from given information only we have to take out either common ratio or the first term right so again I'm telling you we need to take the three numbers very wisely as we used to do in arithmetic progression like in arithmetic progression when you used to get that sum of the three numbers which are in AP uh, is something uh, like 40 45 whatever we used to get then we used to think uh, every time we used to uh, suppose that the first term is something like a minus D and the second term is a and the third term is a plus D and when we used to add all of them then we used to get 3a because minus d and plus d used to cancel out right so like this we used to deal in arithmetic progression similar type but a little bit different we are going to deal in now geometric sequence so now here we'll be supposing let let the three numbers be a over r a and a times r these are the three numbers we need to suppose because if you're going to make the product of them right this common ratio and this common ratio gonna cancel out and you'll get a cube right so that's the benefit here so let's do case one right according to the question according to the question what we're getting that sum of this actually a by r plus a plus a times r is actually 38 and same question is saying again and their product is 1728 it means a over r times a times a r is equal with 1728 so here my dear friend what can I do I can cancel out this common ratio with this one and I will get a to the power cube equals to 1728 right so now to take out the value of a I think now it's easier and I need to do the prime factorization of the 1728 so let me shift my pad a little bit this side right so here I'm going to take out uh, what's cube exactly 1728 is right so uh, let me find out the prime factorization of 1728 I'm doing a little bit quickly right so see here 2 times uh, 8 right and uh, 1 will be left here 2 times 8 is 16 and 1 will be left here so and again next time 2 times 4 2 times 3 2 times 2 again 2 times 2 and 2 times 16 it's 2 all right and again 2 times 1 and then 0 that is 108 108 times 216 again 200 uh, it will be 54 times 108 and again 2 times 27 again 3 times 9 and again 3 times 3 it means uh, we are getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 right 6 2 and then 1 2 3 3 all right so what can I say that 1 7 2 8 is actually 2 to the power 6 3 to the power 3 but I need this 6 in the form of 2 so what can I do here that a to the power cube is equal with I can say now um, this 2 to the power 6 I can say that it's 2 square over 3 times 3 to the power 3 right because 2 times 3 that's gonna be 6 so now I can say that 4 times uh, 4 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 3 that is going to be now a to the power cube equals to now 4 times 3 to the power cube that is actually 12 power cube right 
so simply one more step I'm writing it's going to be longer but it, it should you should not take that much longer time right I know you can do this easily but still I'm doing some of uh, my student may get some problem right so here simply we are getting that since the uh, power is same and both quantities on the left side left hand side and right hand side are equal so their base must be um, must be equal so here a is 12 we got the first term that's 12 now let's put the value first here according to the first uh, case what we have got the sum of the all numbers is 38 right so first I think I need to take out uh, the common here let me take out first the common a is I'm getting common and I'm going to get 1 upon r plus 1 and uh, r equals 38 now I can easily put the value of a here and when I will put the value of a it will be 12 times 1 over r plus 1 plus r equals to 38 and here I can cut this 12 by 2 right uh, 2 times 6 and here 2 times 19 is 38 so now this 6 will multiply this whole thing inside the bracket right and I will be getting here 6 by r and then 6 times this is multiplying this now this will multiply 1 right and third time this will multiply this r so it will be 6 r and this is 19 here right equals 19 and now I need to take out the LCM if nof nothing is there there is 1 and again nothing is there there is 1 so r will be my LCM right and it will be 6 plus 6 r plus 6 r cube equals to 19 it's 19 all right and then it will be again 6 plus 6r plus 6r actually it's not a cube it's square I'm sorry actually this when this r will multiply this r you'll get a square number right 6 square equals to now this r will multiply this 19 and you'll get 19r and let me rearrange it properly 6r square now this is 6r right plus 6r and this 19r is here plus when it will come this side it will be minus so minus 19 R right and then plus 6 equals 0 and then now overall I got 6 R square minus and uh, 9 minus 6 is how much right 13 R plus 6 equals 0 now I need to think of uh, such two numbers such pair of two numbers whose product is 6 times 6 that is 36 and whose sum is minus 13 right so I need to take out such numbers and I got such number that is 9 and 4 their product is actually 36 and uh, their sum is minus 9 and minus 4 minus 9 and minus 4 if I'll uh, multiply them I'll get 36 and if I'll add them I'll get minus 13 R so it is now 6 R square minus uh, minus 9 R actually minus 9 R minus 4 R plus 6 equals to 0 I actually I'm just splitting this 13 R into the 9 R and 4 R right so now here I'm getting common 3 R and it will be now 2 R minus 3 and here also I'm getting common 2 so it will be 2 R minus sorry 2 R minus 3 equals to 0 so what I get here 2 R minus 3 is here and here is also this is 2 R minus 3 so 2r minus 3 times 3r minus 2 equals 0 right I think rest of this let's do here so either I'll get either I'll get 2r minus 3 equals 0 it means r equals 3 over 2 or 3r minus 2 I'm talking about this one 3r minus 2 equals 0 therefore I will get r equals 2 over 3 so r can be 3 over 2 also and can be 2 over 3 also so now according to this we can easily find out the all numbers right so the first number is a over r right this is our first number which is uh, a we know that's 12 and r um, it may be 3 by 2 or it may be 12 over 2 by 3 and anyhow I'm getting like uh, it will be 3 I'm cutting with different color right 3 will uh, uh, will cancel out this 12 by 4 and then I'll get 4 times 2 that is 8 or when this 2 will cancel out with 6 I'll get 18 
right it will be 8 or 18 another number is a that is that is 12 that's fixed right and the third number is a times r so it may be like uh, 12 times 2 over 3 or it may be 12 times 3 over 2 overall we are going to get 3 times 4 that is 4 times 2 that is again 8 or 2 times 6 that is 6 times 13 or 18 right so it over what you can say that we may get uh, those numbers are right you, you can simply say those numbers are either 8 12 and 18 or simply you can exchange it may be like something 18 12 or 8 it, it, it may be anything right simply